Hey everyone! <clears throat> so, I didn't go live yesterday because I forgot and then I got busy, but my news is that, I'm eating candy, sorry, um, I was in the newsletter for my, um, main team, the one I signed up under, it was the Rainmakers, and then I'm in Team Moxie, and then Boom Squad, and then Team Metal, but it's like a huge, huge team, and I was in the spotlight for Senior Stylist, so I had to like write about my journey and everything like that, and it's so exciting, and it just went out yesterday, so that was so super awesome, and I'm really, really honored to be a part of that, and yeah, so I have to print it out and put it on my wall. Hopefully, I'm in there again. And again and again as soon as I get higher but anyways okay so new design um I posted these ones yesterday they're the new chill out collection um I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing but I know I'm gonna use blue in Peru maybe as my base this one, it changes from blue to purple. It's really pretty. I was going to use Dallas Darling and then punch it for snowflakes. But I think I'll wait till after Christmas to use snowflakes because it's still Christmas. And then I want Scandi. I think I'm going to use this one in blue and Peru. And I have an idea for a design. So... Ooh, you can see the purple. Anyways, okay, so you'll need some scissors. And I think that's all because I'm not using the punches this time. Although I was going to use the snowflake. I think I'll do that in a later one. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I thought today was Wednesday. And I almost woke up late for the kids because every Wednesday is a late start. Luckily, my alarm woke me up. And then I didn't even realize that it was Tuesday. So again, if you want to follow this design or any color, I'm using I Want Scandi and Blue in Peru. They're from the new collection. And if you want to see Dallas Darling up close, that's what that one looks like again. This one's probably my favorite. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around and get started with this this design all right and let me know if you're gonna do it too okay i gotta turn it around and hopefully not knock everything over let's see not knock it over <clears throat> even though it would be hilarious okay nails you can see i also just had to cut them because i was getting all my nail art stuff out of the shed and those boxes are so, so, so heavy. And I broke two of my corner nails. Or corners on two of my nails. So I had to cut them. So I'm super sad. But it's okay. Because my nails grow pretty fast. Okay. So here's the first one. Yes. What are you doing? This? Are you eating still? Okay. Well, do you want to go play with your sisters for a minute? Okay. Well, I'm going to do my nails. So if you're going to be in here, just sit there with me, okay? Okay. So here's the first one I'm going to use as my base. It is blue in Peru, and it changes to purple if you get the light right. Oh, there you go. See purple in blue? Really pretty. I want Scandi. They said that this is a light blue um, base, but all I see is purple. Well, yeah. I don't know. Anyways, they say it's light blue. Now I got to open some Play-Doh, so hold on. That's slime. I know. Slime inside of a Play-Doh thing. Cool, babe. Go sit at the table. But don't mess with Evelyn because she's at her me um, math meeting, okay? 
Mom, look, look. What? This water boy. Is that the one the girls made? Yeah. Okay. And I did not rip that good enough. Okay. Snowing slime. These are so pretty. I oh, wow. Know. You can really see that. Oh, that's just so pretty. The blue and the purple. Wow, okay. That's just so pretty. It is very pretty. Okay. So for my design, I'm not doing the whole nail. I'm going to do half of it. So I don't know if I should take off the top. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take off the top. And then I'm going to oh, oh. not see how far. It fell. Yeah, this fell. I'm gonna go about halfway up. Like that. I need a tack. And if it's not far enough how I want it, I'm just gonna do it again. This is like the not fun part is trying to peel these apart. I swear I'm horrible at it. And then you also don't want to ruin it by wrinkling it. Maybe I should get some tweezers. That would probably help. Mom. What, babe? I need okay. to tack. It failed. Well, you're going to have to wait, sweetie, because I told you I'm doing my nails. Okay. And then I'm doing half of it <clears throat> like that. So then that half of my nail has polish on it. And then... I'm going to use this one. Let me open this. I'll just do a couple nails for you guys so you can see. And then I can use the thin one on this. And. Okay, but you need to wait until I can hang it up for you, okay? I guess you could use a big thumb one for this too though and I'm just cutting it in little slits like this okay and then you pick one that you like and I like this one because it's like already coming up so I'm gonna grab that one and just kind of pull it off and then on my nail, I'm going to go over it right there. And then just press down to get that off. And I might set that right there because I might be able to reuse that on my other pinky. And then this side, just press until it comes off. Mom, can you hang this somewhere? Hang what, honey? The lights? No, this. Okay. So there's my first nail. This fog. I'll hang it up in a minute, hon. I'm only doing a few more nails, okay? I'm gonna see Alright. First nail done. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, that's gonna get tucked under and cut off. So the next nail... Don't know if that one's wide enough because that, yeah, no, definitely not. So you move on to your next one, peel off the top, and then you want to see how far you want it, and then cut it. I guess it doesn't matter because you can tuck it under. But if you use one side for one nail, you can do the other on the other side. Then you peel it. Oh my goodness, this is like the worst thing ever. Okay. And then you get it. Make sure it's on straight. Let's see. Okay. There's that one. And I think this is just long enough to go over the top. Perfect. Okay, yeah, it was. I'm glad I saved that. 
So I just rubbed that one off. This is just barely. We don't want to touch it too much. I think I'll leave it there for a little while. And then tuck that under. And I'm just ripping a little bit off. I'm leaving that to um, file later. So, two nails. And I'm just going to go and finish my nails. And that's the design. I want to use this snowflake punch because that would be so super cute. Oh, snowflake punch. And I don't know. Let me see. I might. I might add a snowflake on the little corners. Let's see. I'm going to open it because I don't care. Okay. So, garbage. And also, you always want to prep your nails, but I did with a different one because I have extras from using different um, packs of nails. So, that's why I didn't. Although I should have, just to show you guys, in case this is your first video watching. But you always want to prep your nails. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Dallas Darling. Really, really pretty. This chill out collection is gorgeous. Whoa, that's so pretty. It is pretty, huh? Okay, and then I gotta get... Snowflake. These paper punches. Oh my goodness. I got them on Amazon. I used them in one of my first videos. This heart one. Um, for a different design. Okay. So, I've decided I'm going to use the snowflake. So you want to peel the plastic off. Bob, what? What, hun? Mm hmm And then, also, you can use this if you put it in the middle. You can use this on your nail as well. And layer it. It would be really pretty. And I'll show you what I mean as soon as I punch it. Okay. Get it in there. <laughs> Why I'm so shaky today. Okay. Get it. Alright. What? What are you trying to do? I'm trying to punch it. Can I punch it? And it's not going. Can I punch it? I could punch it. Oh. Alright. You should have let me punch it. It punched. Although I punched it crooked. So... If you punched it more in the middle, then you can still use that nail and it would have like the design. So there's an idea. Okay. So after you punch it, you need to try and then peel it off of the backing without ripping it like I just did. So I'll put this one on my pinky. And then, I think I'm going to put it on the corner right there. So if you can see that. And then I'm just going to press this side so it comes off. So now I have a snowflake. Can I punch one? And a line. Mom, can I punch one? In a minute, sweetie, because these ones have to be on here. So now I need one for my other nail. And I don't know why those are so hard to punch. Okay. So obviously you want to be very careful peeling it because you don't want it to rip. So I'm doing it off camera so I can like really see it. But anyways, tell me how your guys' day is going. I'm so super unmotivated today. I don't know why. I woke up this morning and I was like ready to go. But yeah, then I didn't do nothing. 
Okay, there's Wait. another snowflake. But now you're doing nails. But now I'm doing my nails, exactly. And then you just like want to press it, rub it, and then it comes pretty. off. Thank you. So Thanks, babe. And then you can rub that one off if you don't want it hanging. But I don't. There okay. we go. So there we go. I'm going to go and finish my design. And if you need to see how these ones were done, you can watch it from the beginning. I got these on Amazon. And yeah, if you do it right in the middle, then you can like layer it under or over other nails like this. So then the blue would show through. Or over this one. Then it would show through or even on your bare nail. So you just have to obviously line it up right. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this design. I will take a picture after. And yeah, if you are interested in joining my team, let me know. You will not be sorry. Oh my gosh, it is so much fun and full of support and excitement and everything. I'm so, not going to fall. Yes, you're going to fall. Get down. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.